Hey, what's up? Dre here, and I'm back with another Rec Pack opening video. So, the Ghost of Meridian update released a few days ago, one or two, and I've been saving up rec points that much specifically. But since we are getting new stuff, we will be going silver first and then on to gold. And once again, as with the Hammerstorm update, I have a list here that I'll be writing down so I know what I got. Because I'm like that. And another thing is I am actually still missing two items from the Hammerstorm update. I'm missing the Extended Magazine Magnum and the Halo 1 Pistol. So let's try to get everything in this one video. Let's try to get all the stuff I'm missing. Hopefully we can do that. But before I open Apex, I have saved up a bunch of stuff over the last couple weeks because I wanted to open them on this video. So, first up, Ghost of Meridian Update Pack gives you a couple things, like to preview yourself with what's in the pack. So we got the Song of Peace, the Razor's Edge, and the Hannibal Scorpion, and the Chaotic Final Days of the Forerunner Ecumene? Is that a word? I didn't know that. An unfortunate number of the Librarian's Conservation Measure Operations required military intervention to complete. Upgraded suppressor with both a fast and fire rate and reduced recoil. Excuse me. That will be kind of interesting. Because last time I checked, I'm not a really big fan of suppressor's recoil. And the Razor's Edge. As extinction loomed, desperation led the Forerunners to experiment with volatile deri deri derivations of hard light. Advanced suppressor firing fast moving meta stable energy shards. I cannot speak today. If multiple shards strike a target, they will create a super combine explosion. Now, of course, these are not these are not certifications, they're just items. And the Hannibal Scorpion. This is but one of Hannibal Weapon Systems tank test beds fitted with the latest in vehicle in vehicle borne directed energy weapons. Advanced warping with heavy armor and fast discharge laser currently undergoing trials with the UNSC Infinity War games. Alright, I've seen this thing in action. Uh, actually, luckily for me, I actually got one of a random vehicle requisition. And it was fun to use, really fun. Uh, I don't need these. I don't know why you would give me these, but whatever. Alright, so that was that. Uh, should I start from over here? No, I'll start over here. So, Fuel Rock Cannon Pack. Uh, every combination pack that, if you complete combination, comes with a, a specific kind of emblem for that. Radioactive. Next, we have the March 2016 Season Pack, which I could have opened quite a long time ago, but I didn't feel like it. So, there, that's what the emblem looks like. Uh, looks very similar to February's, but whatever. Saw Pack! Mixer! What this has to do with the saw, I have no idea, but whatever. Rocket Launcher Pack. Rocket Launcher, not Spanker. Mushroom. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Bulldozer. So this is go. Bulldozer is essentially uh, going, a uh, completing an arena game with uh, AKD or higher. Railgun pack. Fireborn. That's an interesting emblem. Beam rifle pack. Listener. What this has to do with the beam rifle, I have no idea, but where. And the Spartan Rank 100 Officer Pack. Yes, I definitely avoided opening this off camera. We have the Ratio Emblem, which is rare. I think I should have gotten something better, but whatever. Or Rocket Warhog. Cool. That was kind of disappointing for a rank, a rank 100, but whatever. I'll take some of these. It gives you a Scout Warhog for Christ's sake. <laughs> okay, whatever. Silver packs, let's go. We got a bunch of rec points. Let's try to get this stuff out of the way. I know you can get that one uh, common emblem of. Uh... Yeah, see, there we go. 
We got the Song of Peace certification and the Soul Emblem. Good stuff. So, I'm going to quickly write that down. This could be tedious, but whatever. It's the way I do things. Uh, let's actually take a look at that emblem as well, see what it looks like. Yeah, uh, this looks like... What, what even is that? Is that like Supernova? I don't know. I would call it a Supernova. It is called Soul, after all. Alright, so we got Distraction Emblem and the blue steel for the DMR. This looks very cool. Blue is very fashionable this year. I did not know that. <laughs> we'll take a look at that in a second. All right. Let's get uh, let's get a proper stance here. That's the DMR. So you get a better look at the DMR right there. Uh, looks very fashionable indeed. I'll be rocking that for a while. I do like this though. All right. Oh, and there is a distraction of one. Uh, looks very. What? What's the word for it? Oh yeah. Look, it's make. He's making fun of you. I don't know why, but whatever. Dog pound emblem and the Dynas Sincedel. Uh, this is one of the newer armor pieces of the Ghost of Meridian update. The Dynast is a brawler armor variant that excels in close range firefights through a combination of resilience and improved situational awareness. Cool. Uh, we'll get a better look at that. Wow, that is... I, I would call that zebra armor. <laughs> Because <laughs> it has the design of a zebra, you know. And there, there's uh, the war, the dog pound emblem. I was a war dog. I have no idea why. Uh, not not my favorite, but whatever. I, I I mean I would rock it, but I guess it's not bad. Some people might like that. <sighs> okay. Okay, so we got a full set of Dynast, the just basic Dynast. We'll put both of those. The Dynast helmet is covered by layers of compressed carbon nanotubes and hyper diamond sheets, making it fantastically durable and expensive. Wow, doesn't look very expensive, that's for sure. We'll take a look at that. Ooh. Not sure how I feel about that. That's kind of weird. Reminds me of one of the alien factions. I, I don't know which one, but it just reminds me of one of them. We'll rock it for the remainder of this video, though. It's, it's weird not hearing that fantastic cheering. Dynas Liliok. All right, look at that. And the Glacier Visor, which basically is blowing up recruit. Based by ho tested by hostile environment teams on a dozen frigid worlds, the Glacier Visor is the first choice for any Spartan expected to operate in cryogenic, no cryogenic atmospheres. Uh, what's frost then? What's that used for? So yeah, like I said, uh, you're basically blowing up recruit this frigid. Yeah, uh, barely a difference. But what's Glacier? I mean, what's Frost? Uh, okay, so you either use Frost or Glacier. Either one works for you. Uh, this is Dynas Liliok. Doesn't look any different than the regular one, but maybe it's because I'm not that observant today. Okay, we have Corpse Maker. Very cool. Made of the finest materials its creator could coerce or steal from raider layers on Wario and Tish. Improved gravity hammer with faster swing time and increased lunge range. Cool looking hammer. I like the red scheme. 
Dynast Incidel. Uh, we'll take a look at that. Keeps giving me arena boosts, which I do not need. Okay, that looks a lot more stylish than Liliok, that's for sure. Yeah, it's, it's a zebra helmet. It's a zebra variant. Okay. Razor's Edge, woohoo. So we have certification for this now. As Extinction Loom, Desperate. Oh, I already read that, fuck. <laughs> and Dynast Liliok. I think we might have all the Dynast pieces now. Yeah, we do. Cool. So we got that out of the way. Oh, shit. There we go. Uh, no. Okay. I mean, I'm not a big fan of it, but whatever. I'm gonna go back to my photos now because that's the way I roll. All the way at the end. Oh, uh, like I said before, they need to have some sort of I don't know, uh filtering system so you can find all this stuff a lot easier. Next pack. Ooh, pink mist and blue steel. Messy. Cool, we'll rock both of those. Yep, that's a needler, alright. Ah, uh, the needler. The needler is such a good weapon in this game. Like, people don't use it that often, but you really should. It's a good weapon. Let's let's change our color to something more appropriate to fit the needle of the scheme. Uh, okay, we'll keep that. There we go. All right. Fashionable. <sighs> Next pack. Let's go. Let's go. Blue Steel for both of uh, the SMG and the Battle Rifle. We're, we're getting that Blue Steel, yo. Let's take a look at those. And, oh, and the Magnum, too. Oh, we're only missing the Assault Rifle now. <laughs> so, there, there's the Battle Rifle. Which is pretty sweet. I like the white and blue. And the little hints of, uh, what is that? Gold or something? There's the SMG. And there's a magnum. That looks very fashionable. Sweet. Okay. Alright, and there's our assault rifle along with fisticuffs. Good old fashioned beatdown. <laughs> That's what it sure looks like for the picture I'm looking at. Uh, let's take a look at that assault rifle. Alright, yep, I can go with that for a long time. Although I'll probably go back to gold standard eventually, but whatever. Alright, we're done with the gold, with the silver pack because we just got wreck points and we Wait, what? This was not part of the update. Haven't what? Have I not gotten this yet? Do I still need to open wreck packs just to get more emblems? Hold on. What? Okay, I'll test that out some other time. But all right, there's the hammer emblem, I guess. Um, we're going to gold now, but I didn't know I didn't have that. What? I'm so confused. But that aside, we're moving on to gold. We're getting into the good stuff. <sighs> Game, you're robbing me here. What are you doing? Alright, so we have Stinktacular and Money 8. Both of which are part of the Ghost of Meridian update. Sweet. 
Alright, let's take a look at those. Uh, oh yeah, Spurn ID. Fuck. <laughs> so here's a closer look at Soul. Distraction. Dog Pound. Hammer. Well, no, that wasn't quite that big, but there it is. Stake-tacular. Cool. And Money 8. I think I like this more. <sighs> Alright, so we're clearing out the emblems. That's good. We're, we're only missing one now, called Super Combine. Which was actually, now that I think of it, a part of the Silver Pack, so I don't know why it didn't give it to me. Uh, we have Grinder. And... Uh, a mythic helmet, Mark Fa no, Mark IV Gen 1 Arcadia. The sound of overloading shields, cracking bones, and shattering armor is music to jail high night ears. Improve gravity hammer that Improve. Okay. Improve gravity hammer that unleashes a powerful shockwave from the point of impact. Alright. And this helmet. We'll take a look at that. Take a look at the design, yeah. That's interesting. Uh, the check design is what's what stands out on this helmet, apart from the other one. Cool. You know what? I'm gonna open a gold pack. I mean, not a gold pack. Uh, a silver pack, just because I want to get that super combine emblem. It's not giving it to me. I don't know why. Do I already have it? I, I don't already have it though. So then this game robbed me. What? I'm, I'm confused, yo. Do I not have it? Oh, I do have it. When did I get it though? That's, that's confusing. Well, there it is. It It's animated. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, sorry for that confusion, guys. <laughs> um, I'm going to change the needles. Uh, there we go. Fashionable. <laughs> Alright, so I just wasted 5,000 uh, rec points, but whatever. We'll get some back after we sell some things. So I do have it, okay. Fuck. Ooh, my god. Oh my god. I think that's that's our first, besides Spanker Prime, this is our first mythic weapon certification in a long time. That That's, that's sexy. A mastercrafted instrument of death and destruction, mythic sniper rifle firing high explosive armor piercing rounds that increase overall damage. In addition, Linda's modifications ensure the motion tracker is visible even when using zoom. Very useful. This thing basically gives you uh, a permanent damage boost, so you can kill a Spartan anywhere on the body. Very cool. So I have, I have four of those now. Cool. And there's there's Mark IV Gen 1 Arcadia. We'll say that. I think it works well with the Niemler. Alright, Recon DMR, I don't need that, but cool. And Take a Look, which was also part of the Ghost of Meridian update. I've got something to show you. Ah, I wonder what he's gonna show me, huh? Probably gonna stab him in the face, actually. Sentinel DMR with stabilization jets. Uh, cool. I like Sentinel DMRs. And the Clippy M1. <laughs> that looks cute. That looks cute. What is that? Fucking 90s? Jeez. How old is that? Hey, Clippy, what's up? I'm going back to my old stance.
There we go. I think that fits very quite well. We got the basic Sentinel DMR, which is good, so I can use it as a rec level 6 now. And the Halo Channel Emblem. I thought this was exclusive to people who only, got, who only did the requirements to get this emblem, but I guess you can get through rec packs now. Yeah, uh, legendary, kind of special, I guess. <sighs> We're still missing stuff here. Ooh, Centurion Ironside, okay. And a Sentinel DMR with Silencer. I want one with a long barrel. Give me a DMR with a long barrel, please, and thank you. I guess we can go ahead and equip the, the rest of the body for this guy. I like matching, unless I'm wearing my Healing Scroll slash Photo Synchronize. Centurion Arms, uh, where are we There we go. Cool. Alright, there we go. Combat Evolved Pistol. Let's go. Finally have this thing. Now all we're missing is the Magnum that has extended magazine. You'll have to find ammo as you go, which isn't exactly a thing you can do. In classic Magnum with increased damage and higher recoil. Infuses the user with knowledge with, with nostalgia and increased movement speed. That's quite the funny description right there. And we have the Astro Emblem. Uh, it doesn't look that special, but who knows, maybe it could be... Uh, part of lore. Maybe Astro is some sort of company in Halo. I don't know. And there we go. There is Tartarus Gavel. What is that? Three mythic weapons in one wreck pack opening? Hell yeah. Speaking of hell yeah, hell jump your feet first. Yo, let's go. Alright, so Tartarus loyal lieutenants were also gifted a weapon worthy of such favor. Mythic gravity hammer that unleashes a linear series of kinetic explosions with each swing. Equipping Tartarus Gravel also boosts the movement speed, shield strength, and a jump height. It basically gives you a, a speed boost and like a, an added bonus of the increased shield mods, I think. It doesn't give you an overshield if that's what you're wondering. So, what did we get? Oh yeah, we got Hell Jumper Feet first. Uh, let's go with that. These colors are not right either. Oh, I passed it. So. Man, that is bulky. Okay, not bad. Seven more packs to open, and then we'll sell some stuff and then open more. Cecil DMR with a bayonet? Come on, where is my long barrel DMR? And we have the Microsoft Bob emblem. <laughs> because, you know, that's a thing. We also got Norn Fang, that's cool. Yep, hey Bob, what's up? Okay, so we're still missing the Hannibal Mantis and Scorpion. I was about to say we're missing the helmet and armor for Mark V Alpha Reflex, but we just got the helmet. We also got the Selene's Lance certification. That's cool. Built from components fresh in the lab in Seong Nam. Advanced Spartan laser with reduced charge time, longer beam duration, additional battery capacity, and targeting laser does damage. Targeting laser does damage? What? Yo. How much damage though? War games balancing adds extra recoil. That's fair, but seriously, how much damage? How much more damage does this thing do? What? I didn't know it did that. Okay, we also have Mark V Alpha Reflex. That's cool. But yo! I gotta test that somehow. 
All right, look at that. Look at that full set and dying star certification. The appearance of highly mobile immutable flood pure forms quickly led to Promethean countermeasures. Advanced light rifle that fires adhesive pulse wave explosions as, as few as three nearby explosions will prove fatal to even a shield as Spartan. Very nice. I have yet to try this out. I never even got one of a random weapon wreck. Okay. That's fashionable. You know what? I think we have all Mystic Weapon Certifications besides Whispered Truth and Oath Sworn, which is kind of funny because they're ultra rare. So, we finally got that long sought after Setzel, Sight, DMR, and the Long Barrel, finally. And we have Argus, the basic Ar Argus Summit. That's nice, I'll put that. Two Twin Jewels, okay. I'm still looking for that Hannibal Scorpion, yeah. And that Hunter Helmet. Those are the two things that I want. Is the Hannibal Scorpion and the Hunter Helmet. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh, where is my... There's Argus, there we go. I don't need change of eyes in the bucket. But, I will change the stance, cause, you know, that's just, that's spinning. There we go. Okay. Come on, we're only missing the vehicles now. That's all we're missing out of this update. Seriously, that's all we're missing. Oh, speaking of Hunter Helmet and the Magnum, let's go. These two right here, so we're completely done with Hammerstorm, finally. And I can get this at Wreck Level 2. Sweet. But that Hunter Helmet. Man, sorry, Linda. Uh, I know I just equipped your armor, but we're going to this now. Though still considered a prototype implementation, the Hunter's Sensor Suite enhances situational and threat awareness. Alright. All right, all right, all right. We're getting somewhere. So uh, let's let's equip that hunter body piece. So much stuff. Like damn. Uh, there it is. Gotta equip that resolute visor because that that's only that's only natural. Oh, I also went to uh, three other things, so one, I'm going to do, where's Peacemaker, here it is, I'm going to do that, two, I'm going to change my emblem, to Spicy Lock, and finally I'm going to change this to Lock of Luna, because that's how I roll around here, you, you, got, you gotta go with the full set, you know? All right, there we go. There's, there's spicy lock, lock and loaded, and the hunter set with the resolute visor. Sweet. I can end this right now, but I'm not going to. There we go. So we have technician, uh, basic technician now, and the Hannibal Mantis. Um, it ain't no scorpion, but it's still a pretty good vehicle. From what I've heard, yeah. So now we're all all we're missing is a scorpion now. I'm wrong because that's the thing I wanted the most besides the hunter helmet. Anyway, Hamill works closely with the UNSC in its efforts to incorporate new weapons technology on existing vehicle chassis. Advanced Mantis with heavy armor, rapid fire, gauss cannon, experimental ion field missile warheads. Cool, love it. Looks really cool. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm sticking with Hunter. <laughs> Sorry guys. Alright, last gold pack until we're going to sell a couple things. And there we go, the Hannibal Scorpion certification and the Technician Helmet. Alright, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll rock that. Well, in later. It's cool. So, we have everything. It was a, a Ghost of Marine update now. Sweet. I guess all we're missing is a few other things from... Well, what are we missing? Let's see. 
Okay, so we're missing two helmets. Um, one I can't help because that's Achilles. Now what's the helmet we're missing? One's Achilles, the other is drumroll please. Oh, I can't get that. I don't think so anyway. So then we that means we technically have everything, yeah? Yeah, we technically have everything. Uh not all the emblem, of course. And I'm still missing I'm still missing uh the blue team for the AR, uh these two, and noble team. Okay, so then let's let's check this out. Uh, okay, so we're 100 percent on all of that. We're still mi we're still missing two power weapons. There's my collection, by the way. So yeah, we're missing Oath Sword and where's Whisper Truth? We're missing that as well. Yeah, we we don't have a certification for this yet, even though I have two already. We have all the vehicles, we have all the power ups, and yeah, so that. That's all we're really missing, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and sell a couple things, and hopefully I can get those two items. I'll be back. Hey, I'm back, and I just sold countless items, and I now have 30,000 red points, and we're going to open two, no, three more gold packs, and try to finish off the rest of this stuff. You know, I completely forgot, I still have emblems to unlock. Like, fuck, really? Emblems? Come on, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want Oath Sworn. I want Whispered Truth. Give them to me. Thank you. There's a, there's Oath Sworn. That's a sexy looking shotgun with the rabbit emblem. Memories of loss and dreams of vengeance, seal and steel and composites. Mythic shotgun with increased damage, accuracy, and rate of fire. The user's movement speed is also increased while also when it is equipped. Very cool. Come on. Give me something good. Talk to me. What are we going to get? You know, I, I forgot. I also haven't unlocked Prophet's Bane certification yet. But there we go. There's the Prophet's Bane. So. The Arbiter awaits a Shan Shyam's inevitable return with blade in hand. Mythic energy sword was equipped in no with embedded active camo generator and a wider lunge radius when using smart link. The sword's infectious bloodlust also increases movement speed. Sexy looking sword, we also got the Mega Blocks emblem. Mega Blocks, uh Mega Blocks banner, okay. Um, wow, that's it guys. I'm down to only 174 rec pack rec points. We got what we wanted though. We got the Hunter helmet. And we got the Hannibal Scorpion. I'm gonna to try to get a Warzone video out on Skirmish on Darkstar and try out some of this new stuff. I'll try to get that out soon enough, but hey, as always, this is Dre the Flame Deity. Out.